I wanted to be able to wake up in the morning and like what I was doing. I just knew that I didn't want to continue doing something that I wasn't passionate about. We've gone a long way. Personally, I believe that we're at the cusp of something bigger and that we're getting our breakthrough pretty soon. We were sitting across each other and um, John, actually, the community manager, did a great job in introducing. I was doing a lot of hydroponic system in my apartment. An event came up. It basically required me to do something that I had never done before, which was like the solar event. And I was like, well, if you want to help me with my project, I will have to learn it from scratch. So it doesn't matter if you know anything about solar or hydroponics. Ralph told me about urban greens, and I think it just kind of aligned in terms of the timing. We built like a hydroponic like rack. It was like the first thing, <laughs> probably the first thing that someone ever built here, you know, that is like startup related. We're here to disrupt the food scene in the Philippines, starting with Manila. We don't want to compromise on the cost, the quality, and the nutritional value of food, and we want to make it available to everybody. We're very innovative, we're young, and we want to show people that there are alternatives out there that you can aspire to as a company, that you can do good, and at the same time make a lot of money. We're living the startup life with all its ups and downs and, and challenges. There are a lot of people who tell you about what it is that you need to do, or they will tell you that you can't do something, don't take no for an answer. That's basically them projecting their own fears on you because they believe that they can't do it. Always be inspired by your vision of what it is that um, you want to achieve and, and just stick to it. Don't be afraid to fail. You will fail, and you will fail a lot of times, but you have to be comfortable with that.